That's something I've never heard before, but that's in the terms of service. Something to keep in mind. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And sometimes the dream garage is not about the products you have in your garage, but it's about the ride you have in your garage. And every now and then you need to sell that ride and get a new one. So today we're going to go over how to sell your car on bringatrailer.com. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Firstly, I want to talk about the July giveaway. Right now, you can enter in to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Link is below to how to do that, so check it out. As some of you might know, I just sold my first supercar, my 2018 R8 RWS. And I decided to sell it on bringatrailer.com because I thought I'd get my best bang for my buck there. So how to sell on bringatrailer.com? Firstly, you need an account. So go to bringatrailer.com, create an account, and hit submit your vehicle. When you hit submit your vehicle, you are offered three different options. Firstly, a classic option for $99, and a white glove option, which just leaves a phone number so you can call them and they'll quote you. So let's talk about the $99 option. This is a great option for you if you're just looking to sell a collector car uh, and you already have a bunch of professional photos of it. So firstly, you go submit your vehicle, you tell them what you have, you hit submit, they review what you have, and if they accept what you have after they ask you a couple questions, then you only pay the $99. So it's not like $99 to get submitted submission, you just pay that once you are accepted to sell on their website. Once you pay your $99, they actually write a description for your listing, and then you get to review it and approve it, and once that's approved, it gets listed on bringatrailer.com. The next option, which I did, is called the plus option, and that's for $349. Submission is exactly the same. Firstly, you tell them what you have, you submit it, they review, approve, and ask you some questions, and once they approve your listing, you actually, out of that $399, you get a professional photo shoot. So then they schedule a photo shoot with you, a local photographer in your area. You communicate directly with the photographer, figure out what time works best for you. Then they will take the photos. They will submit those photos to Bring a Trailer. And once Bring a Trailer has them, they'll contact you and talk about writing the listing for your vehicle. From there, you get to review and approve your listing for the vehicle. Once it's approved, they use the photos they took and list your car on bringatrailer.com. Now the third option is the white glove service. There's no price for this, they just offer a phone number. I don't know exactly what this is about, but I'm gonna give you some of my assumptions. If you're a car collector and you're listing a bunch of cars, this may be the easiest way to do it. Also, if you uh, don't want to organize the photo shoot, or if you don't wanna deal with the shipping, or if you don't wanna deal with talking to the buyer, I'm sure they have an option for that and they can handle it from A to Z. So if you're interested in that service, give the phone number a call. So now that you know the three different options that you can get with Bring a Trailer, let's go over the plus option, the option I actually did. And I'll explain to you from A to Z how my process worked. So during the submission of the actual vehicle, you have to put down your reserve selling price. This is the minimum amount of money you want to accept for your car. For example, my car, I wanted a reserve of 125000 so any bid under 125000 the car would not get sold. Once I submitted my vehicle, it took them a couple days to get back to me, and they had a couple questions. Firstly, they asked for the window sticker of the car, and secondly, uh, I did mention in the submission that I had a lien on the car. They asked me how much the lien was for, and I wasn't going to tell them that. I never tell them that, because then they'll always try to tell you where the reserve price will be. So I replied with the Carfax report, gave him the window sticker, and then I heard back from them and they said, all right, cool, are you fine with $118,000 reserve? I told them, no, I need to be at $125,000 reserve. They showed me a listing of an RWS about eight months earlier that sold for 118, but I also did my research. About six months earlier, one of them sold for $122,000. So I held tight at 125. After going back and forth with them on this $125,000 reserve, we eventually settled on $122,000 reserve, which I was happy with. Once we agreed on the reserve price, they accepted the listing, and this is where I had to pay the $349 price. Once I paid that, in a day I got an email from a photographer trying to schedule a time for the photo shoot, and by the end of the week I had the photo shoot for the R8. 
Now the photographer actually submits all the photos directly to bring a trailer. Once bring a trailer receives it, they have about a week processing time and then they reach out to you and ask about what certain things you want mentioned in the listing and they begin writing about the R8. I'm going to tell you something guys, the writers are so-so. Uh, they are general people, general writers out there. I don't actually think they work directly for bring a trailer. I think they're all contracted writers and they do not know the car as well as you know the car. So they, get, they write up the listing, they submit it for you to review. I did have to change a couple things because some things were wrong and I have seen mistakes in uh, listings before. Be sure you review what they write. I made some changes, hit uh, resubmit, they did revise it and communicate with me on the different changes and eventually we got to a place where I was happy with. So I submitted the car on bringatrailer.com on June 6th. By June 25th, everything was complete. The photo shoot, the listing, and that's actually when the car went live. It is a seven day auction. So June 25th to July 2nd was how long the auction went. Now initially there was some excitement on the listing. In the first 24 hours the bids went from zero to I think $107,000 and then it just completely dies. And that's normal in any auction. So don't be panicked when you see that. Action only rarely happens in the last 30 minutes of any auction. So during the process from June 6th to June 25th you do get a couple emails from Bring a Trailer. They do talk to you about what happens when your auction goes live, how to be an active participant in the comment section. So that is quite nice. They really do try to help you understand how auctions work if you are new to it. But if you're new to auctions, I don't recommend you go sell a supercar on Bring a Trailer because there are some key things you need to keep in mind. Negotiate the reserve price. It's your car, it's your asset, it's your problem, not theirs. Keep in mind you can negotiate with these guys. Another thing to keep in mind, if your reserve is at $125,000 and the car reaches $120,000, you give the right for bring a trailer to actually buy that car for the listed price or the reserve price of $125,000. They will mark it as not sold, but they will actually have the right to buy your car. That's something I've never heard before, but that's in the terms of service. Something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is do not tell anyone how much the lien is on the car if you have a lien. So all people are trying to do is figure out what your exit price is. It's got nothing to do with about that. If your car is worth $125,000, doesn't make a difference if you owe $50,000 or $150,000. It's only worth $125,000. So don't tell anyone what the lien is. Now one thing I did not do, which I should have done, hopefully will help you guys, I didn't tell them I wanted uh, social media posts or emails. I don't know if this is possible, but they did not send out an email about the R8. They did not show me on their Instagram story or post. So during that uh, negotiating of the reserve price, I would definitely say you want a story post at least twice, you want an a, a Instagram post, see if they will actually agree to that. Because I didn't get that and I do think it would have helped drive the awareness up on the auction quite a bit if they actually did that. Now as I mentioned before, make sure you review the write-up. These guys don't know the car as much as you know the car. They're just writers. They use Google and they try to write as best as they can. But keep in mind, you know the car more. So be sure you read every line, review it, and resubmit if there's issues. Do it as much as you can until they get mad at you, I guess. But just make sure the listing is 100% accurate. Now guys, as for the selling fees on Bring a Trailer, the only fees that the seller pays are the $99 or the $349 or that white glove service. So the buyer is actually the one that pays Bring a Trailer. They pay up to $5,000 for any auction they win. So as I mentioned, I had the reserve at $122, but my actual real reserve in my mind was $125. Luckily, the car sold at $125. So as soon as the auction ends, the buyer has to pay that $5,000 or whatever the amount is, it's up to $5,000. And then they release my information to the buyer and then I also get their information. From there, it's all private communication. Bring a Trailer has nothing to do with that. So since I had a lien on the vehicle, I asked the buyer which way to go. Do you want to send me all the money? I can pay off the lien 
or do you want to pay off the lien, send me the difference and we'll go from there. The reason I gave this option is because it's a large sum of money. If someone just wires me $125,000, how do they know if the lien is paid off? So what the buyer ended up going with was they wanted to pay off the lien directly with Wells Fargo. They wanted to send me the difference and go from there. And I must say, I got a great buyer and the transaction went seamlessly. So that's my experience selling my supercar on bringatrailer.com. I do recommend selling bringatrailer.com if you have a unique vehicle. I do recommend those pointers, so make sure you can get the best bang for your buck. If you have any questions on how to sell something on Bring a Trailer, be sure to leave them in the comments below. But thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure you like and subscribe, share this with your friends if you think they're going to sell their car, and until next time, I'll see you there.